Hey everyone, thought I'd do a video and today I am going to be doing the My Life in Books tag. So I've been meaning to do this for a while. I've actually been tagged by Camille Nicole and that was quite a long time ago. I actually did this tag already but I sort of lost the footage. So yeah, that's why I had to redo it. It took me a while because I didn't want to redo it because I already did it and yeah I'm I'm just gonna go for it anyways so let's just get right into it alright so the first question is find a book for each of your initials my initials are JBSW alright so for J I chose Jealousy by Lily St. Crow I actually haven't read this yet um this is a five book series I have the first three this one's the third one and it just I tried to read the first book in this series and I just couldn't. I, I, I guess it just wasn't the time for me to try to start this series, but looks gorgeous and yeah, that's the one for Jay. For B, I chose Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. Kramer? I don't know how to pronounce that last name, but um, anyways, this is the third book in a trilogy. And that is the Nightshade Trilogy, and I actually haven't read that either. I haven't started reading it, but I have all three books, so I really need to get into that. For S, I chose Shadowland by Alison Noel, and I have the first three books in the series. This is the third book, and I also have the first two books in the spin-off series. And I need I really need to get into this series. It looks really good. It's the Mortal series. I've heard pretty good things about it, so I really need to get into that. And for W, I chose Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I have not read this either, but I have watched the movie for it, and it was really good. And if I know anything, I know that the books are always better than the movies, so I need to get into that. Second question is to count your age on your bookshelf and choose that book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I got Hunted, and this is by PC and Christian Cass. I've already read this book. I've read the first, like, I believe seven in this series, and there's going to be twelve altogether. The twelfth one is actually coming out this year, I believe. But it's a really good series. I have the first eight, but I've only read the first seven, so I need to get on that, and I need to finish this series because it's so good, it's so fast-paced, and I just eat it up with my eyeballs, so like I said, I really need to finish this series. So the third question is to pick a book from your city, state, or country. So I chose The Hunger. This is The setting is in Canada, and I live in Canada, so that's why I chose it. And it is also a very, very good book. I love this book. It's one of the only historical fictions that I've ever read, and it is just awesome. The fourth question is to pick a book that represents a location that you would like to travel to. And for this, I chose Blood Promise by Rachel Mead. And the reason why I chose this is because Rose travels to Russia, and it just seems like an awesome place to sort of visit. I don't know, I just really want to visit Russia because of this book because it sounds so interesting. The next question is pick a book that's your favorite color and for that I chose The Sweet Far Thing. I have not read this yet but it looks really good and it's green guys. Green is like my favorite color. Any type of green. This is sort of a mossy type of green I guess. But anyways, any type of green. The next question is to pick a book that you have the fondest memories of, and for that I am going to be choosing Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And the reason why I chose this over every other Harry Potter book is because I remember picking this up and rereading it over and over again. I believe I read this book like two or three times. I think it's the most that I've read any Harry Potter book at all. In fact, I think it's probably the most I've ever read any book in my entire life. But um, I would always pick this book up and just devour it with my eyeballs and it's just so good. Like some points I just stopped in the middle and then reread it again because I forgot what I read already. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I just I would just reread it over and over again and that's why I have the most fondest memories of this one because I used to bring it everywhere and it's a little bit little bit beaten and stuff and you can tell it's really loved so. 
The next question is, which book did you have the most trouble reading? And that book was Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I actually decided to read this before the movie came out, and I finished it, but it took me a while to finish it. It took me at least a week, maybe even longer than that, I don't know. But I tried reading this, and it was really hard, and actually I'm trying to read the second book, like I've been trying to read the second book for the past year since I've read this and I I don't know there's maybe it's just something maybe it's just like a really slow book for me or something or anything like that I don't know but this series is really hard to read even though it is a good series so far from what from what I've read so yeah most difficult book series to read ever at least for me I don't, I don't know about you guys, but it's really difficult for me. And the final question is, what book will give you the biggest sense of accomplishment after you read it? And that would be Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. So, um, this book, this book here is, um, like 1,200, 1,300 pages, somewhere in the middle of that. But it is a lot of pages, and I remember watching the movie for this and absolutely loving it. So I obviously got to read the book. I don't know when I'm going to read the book because it is really big and it's really intimidating to me. So I don't know when, but I am going to read this book at some point in my life because I need to do it because it's one of my favorite movies of all time and it just looks really good. It was really good in the movie and it's always better in the book so I got to read the book. Alright, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tag. Anybody who wants to try out this tag, I don't exactly know who who everyone has tagged and who's been tagged and who's doing this tag and whatever like that because it's a pretty old tag and I've been meaning to do this for a really long time. So if I find anybody, I'll tag you guys down below in the down bar. Alright, so I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. So, bye!